Hi guys, my name is Tamara Chase and I'm here today to talk to you about how to start a dance studio from scratch with either little to no money. Um, I'm, on, I've, I'm in the middle of starting my second dance studio with no startup funds available. Um, everything is from scratch. My first dance studio is over in South Africa in Heart of Beersport and I ended up, I grew that from, had three students that I started with and I grew it to 77 before um, selling it to a good friend of mine and now she's she's running it and she's just changed the studio name. So I had that one over there and now I'm back in the States and starting a new dance studio um, here in Florida, again from, from scratch, zero students from the ground up. Um, so I'm here to talk to you about how to, how to do that. So I've started this little mini video series here on YouTube on how to start your dance studio and just to talk about my experiences, what I'm going through step by step on getting this one in Florida off of the ground and running. So the first step that I thought of is your motivating factor, your why. So why do you want to start a dance studio and what's going to keep you going when you get those days that are just you want to crawl underneath your covers and curl up for the day because nothing's working, you're extremely stressed out, and everything is just a lot harder than it looks, um, especially to outside people who have never started or run their own business before. It looks like you get all the glory and fame, like, oh, you make your own schedule, you, you know, do your own hours, you're your own boss, which is great, yeah, but there's a lot of extra work that comes, that's involved with being able to, you know, have those benefits. And that's what the work that a lot of people don't see, that behind the scenes stuff that goes into building something. So your number one first task before you start your dance studio is why? Why do you want to start it? Is it because you, you know, you might have your own, this picture in your head of what you want, this idea, okay? And why do you want it? And um, it could be simple things like you're tired of working for somebody, you want to be your own boss, make your own schedule all of those um, entrepreneurial perks that you have or it could be something a little bit deeper something like you want to inspire the youth or younger generations that are up and coming um, you want to leave something behind that can outlive you but you also have to learn to be really patient and learn to enjoy the process of of building it and enjoy the journey of getting there because if you don't enjoy it you're gonna start and then all of a sudden you're gonna be done and you can't remember a thing that happened. So yeah, you might be having a challenge with your QuickBooks and organizing accounts and registering with the IRS, but it might be super overwhelming and confusing. Think of it as being grateful for you to be able to have these experiences to learn from. Yeah, you're learning something that not everybody gets the chance to learn. How lucky are you to be able to be in this situation to figure it out? You know, there's a lot of people out in this world that will never get the chance or the opportunity to do something that you're about to do. There's always somebody else who would kill to have your problem. So whenever you feel like this is getting too overwhelming or it's too much to handle, just think there's somebody out there in the world that's, that is worse off than you, that's having a worse day, is stuck in a worse situation. Especially think of all the people in the third world countries, you know, after being in South Africa and moving back here. There's somebody who would kill to be in your shoes no matter how stressful and how hard it's going to be. So what's your motivating factor? Go ahead and comment your answer and your response below. I would love to hear them as I'm sure everybody else in the community would as well. I think it's great that we could pull together and really help each other out. So go ahead and, and tell me what's your why, what's your motivating factor and your reason for starting your dance studio. And I will see you back here next week for step two of starting your dance studio from scratch.